Welcome back to my channel, Gemini's. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Let's see what's popping for the next 72 hours. I'm going to start with the Journey Tarot. If anybody wants to know what deck I'm using. Let's see what's going on, though. We do, okay. I'm going to put these back because it's way too many cards. But what are the messages coming through for my Gemini's? What does the next 72 hours have in store for them? Let's see, let's see. So we have the Ace of Swords. Way too many cards. Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands as the first two cards. And Gemini's. I feel like clarity that you guys have been looking for is definitely here in this time frame. Uh, you are going to be seeing things like no other. It, it's like you're starting to get ideas. You're starting to get your mental health back on track. You just could be in a different mental space. And when I say that too, it's just you're thinking different. You could even be wanting to cut certain things off that have been blocking you from having the best mental health. Whether this is, um, say you're a business owner and maybe you compare your business to other people's businesses. It's like you, you're starting to realize to not do that. Or um, this is like getting locked in essentially is what I'm basically getting Gemini's. Especially with what's going on in the cosmos. You guys could be in a space to where, like I said, you just want to lock into your own energy. Also with the two of wands, you could be at a crossroads though when it comes to speaking to someone. You could really want to clear the air with them, but in clearing the air with them, it's also a choice where you're having to decide, am I going to move backward for the sake of this connection or am I going to move forward considering that I've already seen what I needed to see in this situation all at this point. Uh, you could have also this desire to do something creatively, but you're having to make up your mind. Uh, you could be wondering if you should continue on a current path that you're on, trying to achieve something creatively, or should you shift into something else? And if you were to pursue both, what would be the issue in doing so? Some of you guys are starting to realize that in two paths or two ideas that you have, they could lead you on two different paths. So that could be making you feel like you have to choose in some way. All right, I have the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So somebody who you're not cool with, they could be making desperate attempts of getting your attention, whether this is mentioning you on social media. Hmm getting in contact with exes of yours. If not that, somebody who you feel like the relationship is done with, like you just don't want to keep giving energy to it because it just puts you in such a bad space and dealing with them, they could be doing this flip-floppy thing of trying to come forward, trying to make it seem like they're coming with different energy, but you could be reading through their energy very well. And deciding to not just believe them abruptly in their their resurfacing. You guys are also just in a space of wanting new new stuff around you. You're tired of old cycles, old conversations, old challenges. You just want to move forward, and this could be causing you guys to. Let go of something major in your life. Just beyond this next 72 hours. This feels like something you guys have been in the process and doing for a while. With the Ace of Wands and also the Knight of Pentacles. Again, I just keep seeing stuff around money. You guys could be starting new things around money. Starting some sort of new project. You could finally be taking action on getting your health in order as well. If you've been noticing certain health issues or certain health ailments that have been just keeping you from being as active as you would like to be, you could be trying to do things now to work on those things. Yeah, especially with the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, there could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo who could want to make peace with you. I have the world card as well as the nine of swords. Hmm. I also see travel in the near future for you. What I will say is make sure you're going on this trip that you have extra money just in case anything comes up. Because there could be something that comes up on travel or while traveling where you may need some extra money to, to handle something. So make sure you, you go with an emergency fund just in case anything were to happen, pop off, or anything like that. Whew. I just keep getting this energy of people who you're not in contact with, people who you're not cool with. Like, they could be really feeling some type of way during this time frame, especially if you've recently cut them off. Let's pull some cards from here. What do my Geminis need to be aware of or work on in the next 72 hours? So we have breaking the chain of, repeat, of repeating cycles. Excuse me. So this is breaking the chain of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, accepting or expecting a different result okay that's the definition of insanity is to do something over and over and think that things are just going to change especially if things have shown you the same result now with breaking chains of repeating cycles this could be going to the same x repeating the cycle of getting back into drug addictions doing things that limit you stemming from your mental health, things like that. This is finding ways to break the chain and to let go of those stagnant energies here. I also have researching the medical, the medical, I just added a whole nother word here. Researching the mystical world. I, I wanted to say the metaphysical world so bad. Hmm. So this is getting in tune with what you believe in. Uh, if you are somebody who's spiritual and you're into spiritual topics, this is allowing yourself to do the research, gain more understanding as to why uh, certain things are important spiritually. Uh, this is important. If you're more religious, getting getting in tune with the, the Bible and the Quran. And we also have generating dynamic confidence. So this is making sure that you're not being too cocky during this time frame, but that you're not basically, okay, you want to be careful of getting too cocky. Sorry, guys, we got cut off. But what I was trying to say was you want to make sure that you're not being too cocky, but you're still confident in what you have to offer and how you show up in the world. Uh, this is also making sure in terms of your confidence that you're confident in your ability to make choices for yourself and know what's best for you. There could be a lot of questioning around whether or not you're making the right choice or whether or not you're on the right path and in you having confidence in you knowing your own direction, this will help you find direction as a whole. Also looking at where you're kind of just settling for what is just okay and knowing that in having the confidence to pursue what you really desire is important. But this is what I see. I do wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.